Thank God. Hello, guys. Uh, this is uh, guessing from Metron Sex Solutions again. Uh, today, I would love to show you how to how to set the limit for the Centurion Vantage 500. If you install a double leaf gate uh, over here, so I'm coming to show you how to set the limit. Now, if you check our previous video, we've done the part one, which is how to wire the system. So we've done that already. And today we will I will show you how to set the limit. Alright, so to do that you will need to know some few things before you can proceed with the limit settings. So now I'm sure by now you know which which of your gate is the master and which of your gate is the slave and per the manual not per the manual too per the manual not per the manual too hey hey bro for now a ding okay so you know the gate the the gate that has the small lip or the gate that closes first is always the slave and the gate that closes last is the master so I'm sure you've done your man uh, wirings according to the manual, and then uh, to now proceed with the programming, you need to to lock or to uh, fix your your origins. Push the gate to the So this this is your origin, and you need to lock it. At the opening position so if you check my gate now this is my opening position so all you need to do you come and then you touch this small piece of metal with a, an allen key you touch it all the way so that it, it becomes hard so this is what you stop your gate from moving further and you do the same thing for the other leaf too bring it bring it in all right so that's how it is like so you need to lock this one you tighten it very nicely so that the gate doesn't move further so so that's that is what will determine your opening position of the of the gate so right now you have fully open gate now shit. so so now to proceed with the programming you make sure you close your gate so after you close your gate you make sure you engage the machine so if you should check on the black plastic you should see um, locking position and unlocking position now the is in is in the unlocky position so now to program the gate you have to engage the machine by tuning the key to the locking position and you do the same to the other lift too that's in case you are you are you have a double lift gate in case you have only one machine installed you just have to make sure you do the all this thing to that only machine hey. english all right, so <clears throat> we've engaged the machine. Then now we proceed to the control board. I have already installed the, uh, this machine, but then for the sake of this video, I've already programmed it. But if, for the sake of this video, I've I've uh, I've removed the programming, so I'm I'm now coming to program the limits once again. So to do that. Just make sure you go this way. You press the long bar for two seconds. Then you see the first setting is setting limits. Then you click the middle bar to continue. Then it comes to setup user. Now, if the, if you are powering the machine for the first time, you see compliance, which you select uh, ZE if you are living in Africa. Then after that, you press this bar, this button. Then you see this setup user. So you now take it from here. So you press the middle bar to continue and then it will ask you to select the operator which is vantage 
and our machine is Vantage. You have other options to down here. But now we have installing the Vantage. So you press the middle bar to continue. And to ask you delete all remotes. Now it's no because I've already programmed my remote. But then in case you, uh, it's a new machine, you can do yes just to make sure there's no remote program to the machine. Then you press the middle bar to continue. Now it says uh, note all safety features are disabled. So no safety uh, device will work in the course of the programming. Then you continue by pressing the middle bar again. Then you say uh, wire the system correctly as per manual. And you need to make sure you wire the system correctly. So if you don't know how to wire the system, please kindly go and watch this video. The video in the in the top corner of the screen. And make sure you know how to wire the system before you continue doing anything. And then it says uh, ensure origins are correctly fitted. Then those are the things I've show you I've showed you from the beginning of the video. So these are your origin. You may you need to make sure you've tightened them at the opening position. <coughs> then you proceed by uh, pressing the 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 middle button to go further. Then it is now asking inward or outward openings. Then you need to be careful here too. So my gates are opening inwardly. So that's why I've selected the inward. If not, you can press the top uh, button to to select outward. But in this case, we are programming it inwardly. Then you press the middle button to continue. Now. It says ensure gates are closed. You've done now already. All our gates are closed. Then you press the you press the middle bar to continue. And it says uh, ensure gates are engaged. And you need to turn the key to the lo locking positions for the machine to get engaged to the gate. Then the middle bar again. It says uh, electric lock electric gate lock present. In this case, no, because we've we have our own stopper installed down there. If you have one, just say yes. Just click yes by pressing one of the arrows to select yes. In this our case, we don't have any electric lock, so it's no. Then you press the middle button to continue. It says a single or double lift. And we have a double lift in this in this case. In this case, I have DBF, which is double. So let's go forward. Now it says a uh, lift delay required. Yes, so in this case we have a gate that has a, you know, the, our gate one of the gate has to close before the other because one has the lip at the edge. So in this case you say yes. In case you don't have anything like that, uh, you just have to select no, then you continue. But in this case I'm selecting yes, and then the the value is twelve millimeter because that's the accurate one. You can. It starts with 10. That's 10 millimeter. So one of the gates will open 10 millimeter before the other one will start opening. And mostly it's the master that will open first. And I've selected 12, which is good for mine. And you press the middle bar to con continue. Now it says clear gate area. Then press this button, the middle one, to start. So now there's no thing or there's nothing on the path of my gate. So all I have to do is to press this bar. Then you see the master gate opening first. That that shows that you've you've uh, done a good wiring. So the master gate will open first, and the control board will ask you gate direction correct. It's yes, and that is the gate that is supposed to open first. In this my case, so I will continue by pressing the middle bar to select yes. Say correct gate open, yes. So that's a correct gate, that's a master gate, and that's a gate that is supposed to open first before the, the slave gate. So all I need to do is to press the middle bar again to select yes. Then you now see the slave the slave gate opening. So all of those we are doing all of this to just make sure we've done the correct wiring and the gates are opening in the in the correct position, and this is from the manufacturer which is a clever uh, system so you press uh, the middle bar to continue again then you now see your master gate opening slowly to the opening position so let's check that so our gate is now fully open so the stopper 
which is the origin per the ma uh, manufacturer has stopped the gate at the correct position now you now see the slave gate also opening to the opening position and then the both gate will close and uh, the master uh, the slave gate will, will close first and then the master will now join and then both gates will now open again All right, so after the after both gates have uh, are opened, you come to the control board and you see a small message here. It says a uh, setup complete. Press the middle bar here. So this button. So when you press that, you are done with your settings. Then you can go back to the the main board. So you, you see uh open. So the gates are open right now. To close them, I think I've disabled this button. All right, so they are working. So by by pressing the the round button, the gates are now closing, and you realize that the slave gate is closing first. And we are done. So that's how you program or set the limit for Centurion Vantage 500 automatic swing gate machine. So now there are some few settings you need to do uh, in order to complete the setup. And uh, I would like to show you that one as well. You know, in this our case, we've installed a, a stopper here, which is a piece of angle bar that is stopping the gate from going further. So this this bar is stop is uh, locking on the angle bar, which is stopping the gate. And uh, with a settings called uh, positive close mode. You can uh, apply a little bit of force on the, the machine. You can help. You can tell the machine to apply a bit of force on the gate. So, anytime you are trying to pull the gate in, you will counter the, that force from the machine. So the gate will be stiff. It will not be moving front and back. So to do that, you kindly go to your control board. Then you press the middle bar for two seconds. Then you um, you screw up. You can screw downwards. You just have to make sure you see run profile. So you, you, you press the middle bar to continue. Then you see the positive close mode. And you press the middle bar to enter. Now, uh, it's a PCM, which is positive close mode status. And it's on right now, which is good. Then you see uh, PCM type. So now the force, if you want to apply it on the master alone, you you select the, you press the middle bar to to now shift the options and press downward. It says ma uh, moto S, which is MTRS. That's a slave moto. It says MTRS only. That's if you want the only the slave machine to apply the force. You go down. We say MTRM only, which is a master motor only or you select uh, you go up there's another one which is a uh, mtrm and mtrs which is for both machine and this are my in this my case i'm selecting both then when you um when you scroll down you now see pcm short stop value and then when you scroll down again you see pcm force so when you click here I mean, when you press the middle button, you now select the amount of force you want to apply on your gate. So, are you doing the installation for the first time? It could be around 30%. And I, I would recommend you try the 30%. If it's not strong enough, then you can increase the value by pressing the top arrow. Now, I'm at 66. I'm at 83 and 100. But now, my 50% is stiff enough. I don't need to add anything. And that's how you apply the force on the gate. And uh, I think that's all you need to know about how to program your Centurion Vantage 500, which is a fantastic machine made by Centurion. So, guys, 